Hailed as one of the most popular rock acts in the world, Foreigner is kicking off a residency in Las Vegas in advance of a huge summer tour that's coming to town. Our Jillian Lopez sat down with them in Vegas to hear all about it. Responsible for some of rock and roll's most enduring anthems, including Jukebox Hero and Cold as Ice, Foreigner continues to rock the charts and rock out in concert. I mean, 16 top 30 songs. I mean, that's not many bands have that choice for their set list. Foreigner has welcomed in some new faces over the years, but Jeff Pilson and Tom Gimble say they are all one big giant family. It's reassuring to know that the uh, the original band endorses us and feel good about what we're doing. Yeah, of course it's great. It I feels like, like a giant family. Yeah. Mick Jones's giant family. Yeah. yeah. That's how it should be, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Mick Jones has a lot of children. <laughs> <laughs> The group can now add Vegas Headliner to their list of already incredible achievements. We've done the, the amphitheater tours for the last several years, and the fact that we have a residency now, I think it's a new, a new frontier for us. It's something that I hope that we can do even more of. So yeah, it was very exciting. In addition to their limited residency in Las Vegas, the group is hitting the road for their summer tour. It starts July 9th in Albuquerque. Um, it's just gonna be amphitheaters, it's us, Kansas and Europe, great bill, um, and we're gonna just take over the entire country. Tour life is just a little more tame compared to back in the day. It's not the wild thing that you saw 30 years ago backstage, no. but there's still moments of it and there's it's still a lot of fun. Is this a family program? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. probably not. <laughs> and you can expect to hear all the classics. Not as many of the deep cuts from 404, but uh, there's still all those hits we got to play. Something really special the band does and has been doing for the past nine years is welcoming in local students to sing on stage. They sing I Want to Know What Love Is. They, they submit a tape that... Tape. Tape. Oh a video, whatever, you know, download, whatever. You guys are old um, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah people uh, and then we, we choose a choir from each town. They come up and sing I Want to Know What Love Is. And then some of the sales of our CDs, some of the proceeds go to their music program at their school. And it's, a, it's just a gigantic win-win for everybody. And watching them sing is really fun. How do you guys get like hyped up? Do you do anything before you run out on stage? Stretching, yeah. deep breathing. I go yeah. to the gym every single day. I don't go in the gym, but I go <laughs> buy it. That counts. <laughs> I get some credit for that. Once on stage, it's just all about rocking out to those classic songs. You can go down the list. Yeah. Oh, man, I can't wait to play it. Every single song I can't wait to play. It's hot-blooded, yeah. right? Yeah. We look forward to that. They're all great you songs. You look forward to every single one on there. And if we list the list, you can see why. And tickets are on sale now for Foreigner Summer Jukebox Heroes Tour, which stops in Kansas City July 24th at Providence Medical Center Amphitheater out in Bonner Springs. Can't wait to see which local group is going to sing I Want to Know What Love Is.